this one, I'm just going to check if I'm still streaming. I think, I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, excellent connection. No issues there. All right, so we are like streaming properly, I guess, and just making sure the preview comes up. Yeah, there we go. All right, now that's working. Bit of a delay on that though. Maybe I have to fiddle with um, YouTube settings to get rid of the latency or... Yeah, it's a little bit behind me, I've just noticed. But yeah, um, let's do Robot City. Never played this one. This robot looks kind of freaky. Yeah, interactive adventure. It's like a little first person one. Didn't look too bad. Let's let's see how we go with it. From there. Where's me? Me little C drive GIF used to come up. Doesn't seem to want to anymore. Right. Okay to continue. And doesn't want to capture. Window capture. Yeah, there we go. Hey, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm multimedia in here. Oh, cool little intro though. Byron Priest, multimedia. Oh, and they even got like um. Yeah, it seems a little Metropolis inspired, which I'm liking. Yeah, it's sad too, because I know, like, I've, I've watched the actual proper full-length version of Metropolis maybe, like, once, but I actually love the, um, the one with all the music by Giorgio Moroder. I forgot what that one's called, but yeah, they roped in, like, what was that? I think it was, like, Pat Benatar and Freddie Mercury in, on a couple of songs. This certainly is an intro. Brandon Bogle. Is it related to Bog Bogan, maybe? Like a distant cousin or something? I oh, know we, we're supposed to be all dark and scary. Apparently, that's the story. Like, um. We're a human, and the only other human's been murdered, and yeah, we, we've been framed for it. We have to go and clear our name. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to have my robot lunch. Yeah, all right. Maybe that's what they were doing for this whole thing, though, with just con constructing that sign. Possibly. Oh, yeah, very, very long fade out on that one. Sure. All right, Robot City. Please wait. Yeah, um, can we get some assistance? Um, game controls, we want full volume. Uh, general controls, maybe? Hang on. Ooh, that's a little hard to click on. You gotta click right on the button. Saving, exiting, pausing, sound volume. I don't think we need to worry too much about all that. We'll be able to figure it out. Sticky mouse, though. Right, new game. Boom. <laughs> I imagine it would be very hard to, like, fly a ping pong ball. You know, they're not very aerodynamic. Like, it doesn't matter much in space, but yeah, when you're in the atmosphere, it would. Dala. Oh, we got a little view screen thingy. Hang on. Can click on anything? Inf you oh. are on board the Massey G85 survival pod. My name is Darla. You have been sleeping for 23 hours and 37 minutes. Yeah, it's a normal day for me. hours TST. Life support systems are operating within normal parameters, and your vital signs are all stable. According to the exterior sensor array, this pod has landed safely. You are on the sidewalk of a city thoroughfare and should be rescued shortly. Do you require anything further? Yeah, um... Ooh, can I have some food? Oh, I want some food. Oh, can we... Oh, do we have to click right on the... Oh, do we have to pick it from here? Really? Okay, can I have some... Can I have some food? Ooh! C 
simulated garden vegetable medley dehydrated fruit cocktail simulated whole grain lo loaf oh we gotta go the animal protein surely give me, give me some of that only way to start breakfast oh apparently that's how we get fed um what do you get annoying annoy entertainment that that animal protein was disgusting, by the way. Welcome to the messy G85 Entertainment Library. As manufacturers of the finest warehousing and life support pods and equipment available, we at Messy Corporation are proud to offer you this unequaled collection of entertaining and yeah, like this programs. For With for a survival G85 pod, this has got a bloody good setup on it. I, I, I'd live anymore. here. Talk to Darla. Listen to music. Catch up on you the just need like. More. Take a little time to learn about your Somewhere for Jeffrey to poo. That's all. He, that's all I need. Mean. And definitely toys for him, because yeah, <laughs> obviously can't let him outside for poo. All right, give him some trivia. All right, here is your first trivia question. How many laws of robotics are there? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's three. We're going by Isaac Asimov. You are correct. Now, could you please state the first law of robotics? Um, yeah, a robot may not hum injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Very impressive. Shall yeah. we try another? What is the third law of robotics? Um, protect its own existence as long as it doesn't conflict with the first and second laws. Number two. Stump you on the next one. What is the second law of robotics? Uh, yeah, must obey all orders except where it conflicts with the first law. So you obviously can't order a robot to harm a human being or themselves. Stated earlier, these laws are common features in all known positronic brains. However, the laws are expressed here in a verbal form suited to human understanding. Within the positronic brain, the laws take the form of mathematic potentials. When conflicts between laws arise, as they often do, the potentials are weighed by complex mathematical formulas to determine the best course of action. The wide variety of robot personalities comes from different ways of analyzing potentials, as well as different problem-solving capacity. I wonder if, they have, if, if that's, that's actually how AI works, works nowadays. While a supervisor must be able to resolve large conflicts, would you like to know more? <laughs> no, I'm good. This is, this isn't Starship Troopers, unfortunately. Do you require anything further? Yeah, what else can we look at? No, I was just going to bring that up as well. Like, um, the whole thing with the three laws of robotics. Like, Isaac Asimov specifically wrote them, like, to have loopholes. That was the whole point of, like, a lot of, a lot of his fiction works. Um... Yeah, we no, give me give me some info before we like Please indicate venture out. The topic for your inquiry. You may request additional information on this topic at any time by selecting the MISS King Arjun reviews. Hey you go. Same subject. Welcome to the first um, YouTube stream. You Not inquire about other You're actually the first one here. Well done you. New prompts. Right. Um yeah, give me give me stuff on the exterior. The exterior sensor array is functioning normally. Would you like to hear some relaxing music? Why not? Let's see what Windows 3.1 considers relaxing. Elevator music. It's me. <laughs> and some is Samar. Your pilot on a journey into the mellow melodies of yesterday and today. You're welcome to ride along for as long as you like. But if you've got to fly, just tap that box that says return to menu. Until then, thanks for flying. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Let's get out of here. Welcome to the messy. Can we... Do you require anything further? Um, no. Nothing. We, we gotta venture out. We gotta see what's going on out in the real Would world. Do you enjoy information about the laws of robotics and their applications in this part of the galaxy? Um, yeah, it was fine. Welcome to the fourth edition of Avery's Universal Pocket Guide to Robotics Laws and Practices. This manual begins with three accepted principles which are the foundation of modern robotic practice. 
All right, can we can we get out of here? This icon wants me to leave. Hey, Asti, how you doing, man? I even got your own little YouTube emotes. Well done, you. Oh, are we stuck listening to the three laws of robotics again? I know these already. Second law of robotics. Curse you, Asimov. The orders given it by human beings, <laughs> except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Yeah, I just want to leave the pod so we can go and look at where we landed. As long as such protection can we just... We can't skip any of this, because it's, you know, it's a Windows 3.1 game. These laws are oh, hang on, can we... No. Positronic brains. However, the laws are expressed here in a verbal form suited to human understanding. Within the and you told us all this as well, yeah. Of mathematic potentials. When conflicts between laws yeah, you obviously, you're like, a robot's not going to understand the wording of the three laws. The it was going to be, um, yeah, they obviously, it's a program. Yeah, no, I thought we'd give it a go. Um, it actually didn't take that long to set up either, because it was, um, all you got to do, you can actually just flick it over to YouTube streaming on OBS log into your YouTube account, set up your, like, you have to, like, physically set up your description for the stream before you go live, but then you can just go straight straight into live stuff. Can we, like... Yeah, just... Do you require anything further? No. Um, live. Right, click on that. There you go. Do you enjoy information about the laws of robotics and their applications in this part? Oh, and that's where I got stuck. Um... Just no. Now further assistance before my reserve power conduits are severed by the robot now working inside the primary systems relay? Um, I'm sorry, what? I guess not? Do any of these other icons do anything? I'm sorry, Derek. I cannot allow you to use this exit as it could endanger you. I will substitute a safe alternative. Thank you for using the Massey G85 survival pod. Your friend in need, a friend indeed. Patent number. A friend with weed is better though. Massey Corporation. Will you just shut the fuck up and let me get off the ship? Fucking robots, man. Just. You can't even do like the, you know. Just go shut up, Dota. Got all Star Trek on it. Alright, we are in a... Okay, so we can go left and right. We can... This music is very loud in my ears, by the way. Just give me two seconds. I'm just going to turn it down a bit. Turn that right down. There we go. But yeah, I was playing a little bit more of um, System Shock last night. God, that was fun. Oh, the first bit of it was, bit of it was fun. Um, we had a moment, yeah, that wasn't in the, um, in the original version, so I, I, like, I got to the executive level, and there was a, um, vending machine, and normally you just get, like, snacks and stuff from the vending machine, and I'm just like, there's a frag grenade in there, I wonder if I can buy that, and I'll put my money in, dispense it, and then you hear Shodan go, thank you for your purchase, hacker, and the fucking, um, grenade just falls out and explodes in my face. I cracked up. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, bump that temperature control up. It's fucking cold, man. Um, so I guess that's a thing with this one. There's just, like, interactive stuff. Checky, oh, checky. Kathy, check out U Compass Tower, D. Okay. Um, sure so we on a pod or we seem to be in like a hotel room if anything can't click on the the button we just oh there's yeah we'll go talk to robot boy over here um yeah interesting style of oh he's missing his arms though oh robin you've lost your arms in battle you've grown some nice boobs Oh, we're doing a... That's our diagnostic screen, I guess. Oh, we can, like, physically... We get to rewire him? Uh, okay. Um, don't know where these are meant to go, though. Um, 
Oh, we can only pull them down like to here sort of thing. Okay, so by rights there's only like two, a couple of combinations maybe? I don't know. Um, okay, can't move. No, there's literally like two combinations because we can't move the um, wires anywhere else. Okay, so it's not that one. Maybe it's this one and this one. Um, move that over there. We move... It's doing little fart noises at me. Oh no, we gotta move this one too. Alright. We just... This is the only one we can't move. Alright. So it's potentially... There's a... Um, Alright, and try... No, you wanna go in the hole? Go to your home. You're too good for your home. Alright, maybe... Um, that one... There's probably like a guide or something that I've missed on, missed out on. Uh, pop that in. That one. And, oh, there's more fucking wires. Of course, there's, there's always more wires in there. No, I'll figure this out another time. Get out of that. No, just, just leave. There you go. Bloody fixing robots. Got better things to do with my time. Um, oh, messages, okay. Information resource terminal. Oh, we can get more messages in the entertainment. Who are you? Did you kill Dr. Poole? What? Derek, or whoever you really are, welcome to Robot City, the great experiment. As far as I know, you and I are the only living human beings in the whole city. My name is Catherine. I'm taping this message for you because if I call you up live, the robots will trace me. I hope you wake up soon because if you killed Poole, then you're in big trouble. If you didn't kill him, then you're in bigger trouble. Oops, gotta go. Good luck, mystery man. I'll be watching you. <laughs> we got a, yeah, got a entertaining message from our blow up dog girlfriend. Sure. All right, look, can we just leave? I don't want to let us go forwards from here though. Yeah, they, there's some convoluted shit when it comes to like navigation and these sort of games. Have to like walk around. Oh, there's like, a, there's something in the middle there maybe? Hang on. Can we go out the... Oh, we can't, can't go out to the balcony apparently. You can't go out for a ciggy. Alright, um... Push the button. Hello. Friend Derek, are you feeling well? Silvius, yeah, valet. Okay. Who are you? I am your valet. It is a pleasure to be of assistance to you. How did I get here? It appears that you This is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. <laughs> you were brought here to recover. Okay. How long was I asleep? You were brought here asleep about 12 hours ago why was i asleep though i was meant to get off like my little pod thingy um can i speak to who's over in charge a supervisor robot will speak with you soon okay um i want to get out of here i am sorry friend derek but you may not leave this apartment yeah why not as a murder suspect you are to be detained here Relax and enjoy yourself. What do you mean murder suspect? I am afraid you will have to wait for the supervisor to discuss this further. But don't just slam the door in my face. Fucking, alright. No laws on robotics about being fucking rude to people, I guess. Alright, so we gotta like, like, fix this robot. This is all we have to do in our, in our apartment thingy. Alright. Um, oh, hang on. Now there's something... We can do anything with this. No, we don't want to diagnose him just yet. Just put that away, thank you. Yeah, I'll see if there's any info about it on the um, computer screen here. A little annoying that you can't skip anything in this game though. Um, alright. But <laughs> has this got a food tube as well? Hang on, let's... let's... Oh, we can't... Um... Oh, okay, we're just getting capsules. We're just getting... Yeah, just... I'll have some nutrition supplements, please and thank you. 
No, I was hoping it was like the big food tube, like, um, what's his face, like on, on in the pod. Can we, oh, we can take these, though. Um, do we have an inventory? Um, hang on, see if I can access an inventory here. Um, channel on it, oh, okay. Ah, uh, righto. Oh, no, there is an inventory. Avery's, oh, and we have this in our inventory. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, we don't need all the... You want to fucking read Asimov? Just read some Asimov, Asimov mate. All right, save load assistance. Um... Oh, we can... So that's like a communication thing. So I guess we can talk to people once we get their details. I don't know. Um, yeah, what was there for information? Um, citizen information, maybe? Introduction. Congratulations on having become a human citizen of Robot City. Robot City is a large metropolis. Metropolis designed to be the perfect living environment for humans and robots. Uh, robot City is the civilization of the future where the most advanced robots and the most gifted humans are integrated into a single culture. Here, a human's unique creative and intuitive abilities will be set free to achieve a technology and an architecture greater than any that has ever been produced. Okay. A legion of swift, powerful service robots will perform all physical labor, leaving Robot City unfettered by the limits of the human body. Robot City will also be immune to the weakness of ego, emotion, and greed, which have destroyed so many great human civilizations in the past. Human leaders and supervised robots will govern in accordance with the three laws of robotics. This will assure that all human citizens of Robot City remain safe from harm, that society will conduct itself in freedom as its members desire, and that the city will preserve and defend its own existence so this perfect utopia will endure. Yeah, we get some... Ooh, can we go off-world? Ah. Um, can we hit up Kathy, maybe? In accordance with the Level 1 Protective Protocol currently in effect, direct local data transmission has been suspended. A personal portable communication device has been provided for you, your use while the central network remains inoperative. The user comlink press the comm button and many of your person's robots will currently appear via comlink will appear. Select the party you wish to contact and be alright, alright. So we if we get information on people we can like call them. Alright, um what do we have for entertainment? No, we're not doing fucking ASMR bloody classical music again. Right, I guess we're trying to fix it. We'll try and fix this robot. I might even look up a guide and see if there a guide actually exists for this game, just so we're not piss farting around too much. I didn't want to spend too much longer on this either. Probably another ten minutes or so. Um, let's see, Robot City walkthrough. Um. Oh, there is an actual walkthrough. Is this actually an Isaac Asimov thing too? Okay. Um. Yep. That will shut down. Journal page on from the small table left of the bed. All right. Um, go do that first, I guess. Might get some um, insight on things. Yeah, we'll we'll diagnose you later, buddy. Um, bed though. Is this the bed in the the middle here? Um, hang on. Oh no, here we go. Here's a bed. Can't tasteful statues. Yeah, there we go. Journal entry, that's from, oh, Isaac journal page, uh, read. You data? Confirm the ship has been disassembled and its components added to the city's inventory. All indications are that we are marooned here, small price to pay for thwarting a madman. Well, give the devil his due, this city is proof of his genius, an unthinkable achievement, a city created by and for robots. Uh, we are the only humans here. Note, second law problem arises here, must investigate further. Robots say their city isn't fully functional yet, but when it is, it will be the perfect place for humans and robots to live together. Catherine is fascinated by it all. I hesitate to trust her. I'm suspicious of the way she replaced my regular assistant at the last moment. She seems competent, but is she really who she claims to be? Yeah, okay. Um, how do we fix the robot, though? Um, blue magnifying glass, connect all eight colored wires into their correct sockets. They will give you a connection sound when they're correct, and some may be hidden behind others. Okay, okay. Um, alright, we'll go fix the robot then. So they just make a correct noise when you put it in the right hole. 
That's kind of helpful, I guess. Um, go around. We have to get... I, I think that's what it is. There's like a couch or a chair here somewhere where we have to like walk around the couch. Bit of a pain in the ass, but yeah. I just want... Yeah, can we get this robot to kill anything? Kill, we can kill other robots. I don't know. Oh, and let's put them back in the position I had them previously. Okay. That's a bit sound. Okay, okay, that's... So the little fizzle noise is the correct spot, I guess. Yep. Okay. That one's right, that one's right. It's this one. Okay, not right. That's right. And... It's making me feel like having some snakes, actually. I did buy snakes the other day. Right, can we... It's really hard to grab anything, because the mouse is, like, really sticky. Okay, was that all of them? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this... Yeah, no, I see one. There's, a, like, a red one behind all these. Oh, purple one. Beep, beep! Alright, robot fixed. This, is, this glory hole looks terrible, by the way. <laughs> where, where do I put my dick? Um, oh, there's like, oh, we have to continue to fix him. Ooh. Etiquette module, yeah. Entertainment. Defense module. Defense. History module. History. Robotics module. Robotics. Okay, so what are we meant to be putting in? Um, orange defense module. Put it in the top right socket. Click on the robot arms and the two white antennae. Um, okay. Robotics module. History module. Entertainment module. Uh. Defense module. Etiquette module. Logic module. Defense module. Uh, top right. Module installed. Connecting to host. Ah, oh, okay. So the robot. Oh, is it showing us that we've got to, like, extend some antennae? Is that what's going on there? Oh, no, we got to click on the arms. You know, chuck his arms on. All right. Um, the arms do anything? Hang on. Arms do nothing. Turn around. Don't need the diagnostic panel. Um, it said something about... Oh, there's, like, antennae sitting here. Okay. Yep, slot those in. So you go and buy the diagram, I guess. System startup. Initialize pathway map. Access lithetic block. Boot intuitive engine. Ego online. Diagnostics complete. <clears throat> My name is Alpha. Why is he clear his throat? He's a robot. Hello. Thank you for repairing me. Who are you? Uh, apparently my name's Derek. You say that as if Derek is not your real name. Don't remember my real name. Why do you not remember? Are you suffering from amnesia? <laughs> are you retarded? Uh, yeah, I hope not. There is a label on your clothing that reads Derek. I will call you by that name. Can you tell me where my owner, Dr. Poole, is? Oh, so he's the robot of the guy that's been murdered. Okay. Yeah. That is terrible. We must find out what has happened. We must leave this room and investigate. Yeah, alright. Yeah, hey, show tell us about your skill cubes. Yes, sir. Um Oh, so we can put in like other cubes? Fucking cubes, My man, how do they work? Is expandable with special cubes giving me access to specialized skills and knowledge. I have modules for logical analysis, robotics and technology, and bodyguard skills. 
Oh, so we can have him as a like the little bodyguard. Okay. Um, yeah, what's your personal defense cube, Dave? My bodyguard cube gives me various skills for evaluating and responding to threats that may pose a hazard to nearby humans or myself. Yeah, okay. Um... I am currently equipped with my personal defense skill cube. Yeah, did, was there even a, like, a logical analysis one in the little pile? Um, yeah, tell me about Catherine. Miss Burgess is a roboticist from the Fastolf Institute of Robotics. She was assigned to serve as Dr. Poole's assistant on his mission to Robot City. Yeah, okay, um... Yeah. They tell me about Dr. Poole. Dr. David Poole is known as one of the leading roboticists on his homeworld of Solaria. He created me. Ah, okay, that was straightforward. I like this, uh, yeah, I like this boy. He's, he, he knows a bit, yeah, he's pretty, pretty close at the point. Um, yeah, talk about robots, I guess. Um, no, let's just generalize. Don't tell me the three laws again. Um. A positronic brain is an analog computing device capable of advanced cognitive processes and incorporating the three laws of robotics. Yeah, right on. Um, can we just stop talking? Are we able to... Yeah, there we go. That's all for now. Here if you need me, sir. Okay, can we... Maybe we can ask for, like, an escort now that we got the other robot up and running? Go, go talk to the valet, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go forward. There you go. Yeah, hi, bud. My name is friend Derek. I am Euler, a supervisor. Oh, this is the supervisor. Okay. You may confess at any time. <laughs> yes, it was me. I, I am the murderer. You are a primary suspect in the murder of a human. If you were to confess now, it would simplify things greatly. Okay. Yeah, why do you think I'm a murderer? There has been a murder. The first law of robotics prevents any robot from harming a Ah, uh, okay. So they're saying because of the first law of robotics, it wouldn't have been a human. Ah, uh, a robot. Okay, that's logical, but I'm not the one who did it. But at the moment, there is only one other human in Robot City. Logically, one of you is the murderer. Well, is she under house arrest? Until a determination yeah, okay. Alright, um, how can I prove my innocence? Do not concern yourself with such matters, friend Derek. It is all being handled. No, well, fuck you. Um, can I just investigate this myself? No. As a murder suspect, you would be apprehended by the city's defensive hunter robots. Oh, hunter robots? Why would you need hunter robots if it's a utopian society, though? That's... anyway. Um, what other options we got? Where is... yeah, where's my other robot? Darla was a standard, one-use emergency pod. It was of no further value and has been absorbed into the city's general inventory. Oh, they disassembled and shipped. Um, yeah, she would have had clues about my identity. We examined its memory thoroughly. You're actually getting, like, clever dialogue options in this. That's, that's kind of cool. Um, what other questions can we ask? Don't tell... If you, if you got shit about the three laws of bro, bro, robotics, I'm going to punch you. Um... What was the other options we get, though? Yeah, just, just fuck off. If you need any further assistance, you can reach me by comlink. Oh, okay, so we can just hit him up one another. Oh, and he just hangs out with us. Oh, uh, that's kind of cool. So he shows up I am and... Ready, sir. Yeah, alright. Now, that's... A, uh, this is kind of roping me in, though. Yes, sir. Might kind of have to fiddle around with this on my own time, I guess. Well, if I've got the, um... If I do get time, yeah, I might do a, um... Low, no commentary long play or something if no one else has done one is um yeah, it certainly roped me in All right what's what's the message we got hello again derek I hello miss block doll on you it's kind of hard to believe you arrived with amnesia i think maybe you're hiding something you're here for the same reason as anyone else to find out what the mysterious dr avery is up to here impressive city though don't you think look if you really didn't kill Poole, then you'd better find a way to prove it. 
The robots figure it was either you or me, because only humans can kill, right? Well, I know I didn't do it, but I don't even know your real name. Maybe you killed Pool and then got amnesia, hmm? Well, if I can find a way that. to help you without revealing myself, I will. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, let's, let's finish out with some light music, I guess. <laughs> some nice little midi blues going on. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals. 